However, Dolby has a standard for what they expect the uh, pro environment to look like in order to properly monitor movies. It's completely different. Bass management is still a key part. They still have low like speakers dedicated to low frequencies, but it's done very differently. So if this was to be converted into a pro mixing environment, or if I was to use that style of bass management, I would still have my S7Is just like I do. But right with each one, let's say down in this bay here, I'd have a bass driver. And then here for the center, I'd have another bass driver. And over there for the right speaker, I'd have another bass driver. For the right, regardless of whether I have one or an array, for the right surround, I'd have a bass driver. For that left surround area, whether I have one or an array, I'd have a bass driver. For the rear surrounds, I'd have another bass driver. Ideally for each one, but one is enough actually for both. That's considered okay. And then for the tops, I don't necessarily need a bass driver, but some people do put subwoofers up there to handle that too, or some sort of bass reinforcement driver. So bass management is actually done by channel groups. So the left side of the room for left surround stuff gets one. The right side for right surround stuff gets one. The back gets one. And then each of the front speakers gets one. None of those get the LFE single. That's actually against the rules. You're not allowed to do that. There needs to be a dedicated LFE subwoofer. And interestingly enough, they don't care all that much where the other subwoofers go, but the LFE is supposed to go right here. Not here, right here. It can go over there too, but it needs to go inside the left or the right speakers traditionally. You could put it elsewhere, but you'd have to get approval, and they may not agree with your view to do that. The standard approach typically is to put one or two dedicated LFE subwoofers. They must be in the front of the room, cannot be in the back of the room, and they are typically done to the inside of the left or right speaker, or as I said, both. So it's a completely different approach. 